All right, guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob, and we're working on this little bear figure. Little bear figure with a heart balloon. Okay, here's a reminder bear figure. Love you very much, Padron. Bear figure. Sarah Barracla. B-A-R-R-A-C-L-O-U-G-H lives in southern Utah. She came up with this pattern. Materials you need is a piece of basswood, inch and a half by three and th five eighths square. So it's an inch and a half by an inch and a half by three and five eighths tall or 3.8 centimeters by 9.2 centimeters okay so that's what we're carving right there we're gonna carve this we're gonna try carving we're gonna, I don't know how good it's gonna come out but we're gonna try doing it all right so I need to save this page here got to have it open for a reference reference page right there Okay, now I can see the bear. So, um, got to start rounding things over, I guess. Oh, this is some hard basswood. Alright guys, we're using the 1 inch OCC carving knife. This whole bear will be uh, cut out just using knives. That's all we're using. Um, and we may use a couple of the miniature flex cut gouges and V-tool. Yeah, we're going to use that uh, in here for the finer details like uh, the eyes and the nose and the mouth um what i usually do uh this is a paper pattern from car wood carving illustrated and uh after i cut it out if there's anything left of the pattern on it i'll take my knife and trace the lines that remain just to kind of mark stuff in place um you should always put your center lines on that's what we're doing here make sure we keep our center lines uh, because we're going to round this bear up to the center line. The little trick I learned from Uncle Ben. Ben over at Studio on the Lake. Round it up to the line. Um, so basically this is just going to be, uh, we're roughing it out, blocking it out. Uh, getting things where, where we want to put them. We just got done watching a live feed with uh, Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. Earlier today, we were talking, you know, texting back and forth. And he's like, what are you carving, Rob? I said, I'm carving a Valentine's Day bear. And he's like, I'm done with hearts for another five years. I don't want to know nothing about hearts. So I showed him a spoon. It's a courting spoon. And he's like, nope, don't want nothing to do with that. I got nobody I'm courting. I'm like, okay, uh, so I showed him a picture of a, uh, out of the same magazine, Woodcarver's Illustrated, of a little wooden bunny you could carve. He's like, nope, nope, I don't do animals. See how sharp that knife is? So I was goofing around, I'm like, I found a picture, a pattern of a gnome home. Gnome home, gnome home. And he's like, yep, that's it, that's what I'm going to carve. I thought I, you know, I thought I was just kidding around with him, but nope, he did it. He took a piece of uh, 1x8 cedar fence board and turned it into a gnome home. So, uh, yep, that was a live feed. Uh, I would assume that he's going to upload it to the internet. So if you get a chance, head on over there and check that out. It's a pretty cool little gnome home if you're into carving that type of stuff. Little gnome houses. Uh, but yeah, wood woodworker, wood... 
Wood Carving Illustrated. Comes out once every three months. I really need to get a subscription to it. There's a lot of great projects. Remember, yep, we're going to round it over up to the line. Uh, we're going to round this guy over because these little points are hurting my, my hands. Hurting my fingers. So, yep, right now we're using the uh, one inch OCC knife. Um, we will switch over to the inch and three eighths OCC knife. And uh, remember, guys, keep your knives, your knives sharp. And here I'm trying to figure out. Oh, you know what you did just carve, Rob? You forgot to cut the front spot in. Forget that's why you had a pattern left on there. Well, shame on me. I guess we're just going with the with the side view rough out. Um, so we're gonna have to by get by gosh and by golly and guess where we're putting the arms on this guy. But we do have reference pictures, so shouldn't be the, all that awful hard to figure out, especially when you've carved as many little guys as I have. Shouldn't be that hard to figure out where to put shoulders and uh, paws, right? Shoulders and paws, 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 P-A-W. Get your mind out of the gutter, paws. Okay, um, so yeah, go over and check out that uh, live chat with Jordy. Little gnome houses. Uh, Ben's studio on the lake. Check his channel out. Um, I think he's getting back to the carousel animals and birds. Him and his Tohican glass eyeballs. Tohican. Too rich for my blood, Ben. Does Tohican sell plastic eyeballs? Maybe I can afford plastic eyeballs. I don't know. I'll have to go on eBay and see if I can find some cheap plastic eyeballs or cheap glass eyeballs or stuff like that. Because uh, Just Card Rob is, well, frugal, thrifty. Ah, he's just a cheap SOB. Hey, watch who you're talking about there, flying pig. All right, so uh, now we're cutting a bear butt. Bear butt. Bear butt. We're cutting in a bear butt. It looks like uh, the, the butt is a little bit lower than it should be. But, hey, this is, uh, you got to remember, this is a paper pattern we got. A uh, lady's name is Karen, lives in southern Utah. Designed this bear. Seems like a quick, easy little carve. You can see that I'm just using my fingers to pull that knife blade back. So, um, don't run into a problem with cutting our thumb in half. Been there, done that, didn't like it. Nope, nope, nope. Yep. Uh, Jordy carved himself a, a spirit chicken. And I carved, uh, some kind of wood spirit, some kind of spirit bird turning into a wood spirit or a wood spirit turning into a bird. It's a transformation, or Evil Evil Rick says it's a wood spirit with a bird hat. I don't know. Because we got all of his, uh, his mustache hairs and his beard hairs are actually feathers. So, I don't know, Evil Rick. Evil Evil Rick. He's got a YouTube channel. You guys should go check it out. Hello, I'm Boo Boo Bear. Actually, this bear looks kind of kind of more like a, a Winnie the Pooh type bear to me. Okay, so we had to crank up the speed a little bit. Uh, the video is an hour and 30 minutes long. So we're trying to get it cut down to, uh, I'm hoping, 20 minutes. It might be a little longer than 20 minutes. But uh, we're cutting back the shoulders. On this guy, uh, we're cutting, uh, trying to get his uh, arms cut in there. That's kind of what extended the length of this uh, video. I didn't cut the front of the bear out. Okay, so, uh, yep, this is all going to be done with a knife. So, I know there's some of you guys that watch the channel that enjoy the whittling. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to whittle a while away. Whittle while way. 
and we're gonna we're drawing in the placement of the lower part of the bear's arms we we'll get that cut in there like so Cleves backyard woodworking well Cleves keeping himself busy making push sticks and whatnot and uh, brother rock USA he's got a uh, chainsaw channel uh, he's not doing any carving right now with the saws because it's winter time but he is buying old lumbars and uh fixing them up loves them old lumbars and them home lights so if you're interested in uh old ford pickup trucks and uh old lumbars and old home light chainsaws go over and check out brother rock usa check them out He's a crazy hillbilly down there. I think he's in Tennessee. Funny guy. Yep. And uh, anybody that's interested can go over to check out uh, Brother Rock's fundraiser right now. He's having a fundraiser for uh, Rich over at Choose Your Own Path Wood Carving and 3D Printing. Uh, Rich had a heart attack and he had to have a five-way bypass. And Brother Rock is having a uh, oh, I don't want to say giveaway. It's more of a raffle there you go a raffle for a couple chopping axes and a chainsaw i believe so if you're interested in that it's 20 bucks a ticket and you can get the details from brother rock brother rock usa used to be uh, rock of ages usa but he changed his name all right just throw that out there and back to carving the bear I know Anna likes the carb with knives, so maybe this, maybe she'll get something out of this. But uh, remember, Anna, this is all in my opinion. It's how I do things. Uh, doesn't make it right. Probably I do things wrong, but this is how I do it. So, uh, yep, OCC carbon knives. I really like them. I had a couple uh, Ramelson knives. They're good knives. Um, and I have some flex cut, cut knives, and they're good knives. I prefer the OCC knives just because I prefer the OCC knives. They've got a little thinner blade on them, uh, which makes cutting a, a little easier. I would love to get a healthy knife, but uh, they're so backlogged that you probably won't see a knife for 10 years. That's how backlog. Man, I wish I had a company where we were that backlogged on stuff. Especially, you know, making custom knives. Wish we were that backlogged uh, on custom knives. Maybe I should start making custom knives. <laughs> or yeah, who wants a who wants an R and B custom knife? Nobody. I have the steel to do it. I have some fifty one sixty high carbon steel. Um, maybe I will try making a knife. I've made, uh, bigger knives. I've made, uh, skinning knives. I've made, uh, bushcraft knives. I've made, uh, Sawyer knives. Uh, I've made, uh, Kukaran or Kukaran or whatever you call them knives. They look like a banana. And we're sharpening up that knife on our handy dandy straw that's made out of an old leather belt. And, uh, we use the green polishing compound on that i even made up a leather wheel to go into my uh drill to uh have a power strop and that works pretty well i wish i had a a rest on it so i may have to build up something that the drill sits in holds the trigger down for me and uh with a rest just to uh freehand strop my knives um, at Mountain Wood Carvers, 
for three bucks, you can send them your knife and they will sharpen it for you. Uh, I'm sure that don't include the post. You'll have to probably pay the postage and the three bucks. So I don't know what it would cost to send a knife to them. All right. Getting this guy all chopped in. Hey, there's a the shop inspector. She woke up. She jumped out of my recliner. Here she comes. Got her ears all flat. Looking kind of frumpy and grumpy. What are you doing, shop inspector? Huh? Got anything to say? No? Yeah, she's out here with me. She loves coming out to the shop. She was just outside there a little bit ago, man. She looked like uh, she was looked like she was a polar bear. She was so covered in snow. Comes in here. I got a big old towel I keep in here to dry her off because we don't need her jumping on the recliner all wet. Because then you know what happens. I sit in the recliner and I get all wet, and that ain't no fun. Okay, guys, that's the end of part one. The bear with a balloon, part one. All right, all right. Be awesome, carve something awesome, share, subscribe, and like, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.